Hello everybody, today we will discuss about Death of Window Manager mechanism and also I have included some performance tests from some registry tweaks that I found that tested in order to have a more interesting video. Obviously we need to understand what is the WM, for that reason I want to give a short explanation because we need to understand what we change, what we tweaking. So, the agenda for today has an introduction on DWM mechanism, a performance analysis on the registry tweaks, and a conclusion about all those stuff that I'm going to talk about later on. What is the WM? The desktop composition feature introduced in Windows Vista on 2006, and it was a fundamental change. Of course, you can read more details about what change came through this uh, addition. The definition is the desktop window manager aka the WM is a core component of the Windows operating system. It is responsible for the management of visual effects and the overall layout of the desktop environment. It handles tasks such as rendering effects, live task bar thumbnails and transparent windows. How it works, desktop composition is performed by the desktop window manager. Through desktop composition the WM enable visual effects and various features that are available on uh, the Windows desktop. Obviously, the most of them will be disabling them, but it doesn't matter, DWM is responsible for all those tasks. Now we can proceed in performance analysis, but before we go on this, we need to see the registry that I pasted. Here we have the main scripts and registry that I tested individually and I did also a test with all together. You can see here the files. Let's take a look. Oh, I could create the file, an individual file to, to set all together, but I prefer to have them separate. We have the documentation from where I found all those things. Uh, Unfortunately, I haven't many documentation and information about those uh, entries. However, that doesn't mean that they don't exist. No documentation doesn't mean that they don't exist always. Um, sometimes, yes, it, something is fake, but not always. I want to uh, point out. Um, and also we have the revert files from each uh, entry. So let's proceed to the performance analysis. The conditions that I conduct in my SPS is in FPS five samples of, of six seconds with five seconds delay each, in latency five samples of ten seconds each, and the tools that I use is the frame view for the FPS capturing, the CapFrame X for the uh, FPS analysis, and the WPR and WPA for capturing and analysis of the execution time of Entos kernel driver. The hardware that I use is a CPU i5 10th generation, a GPU RX 5700 XT, and the latest AMD GPU driver. The operating system was the latest version of Windows 11 Pro, and the games was Fortnite and CS2 with the settings below. By starting with the latency of Fortnite, we see five metrics that focusing on Entos kernel driver, and I tried to see an improvement during I was playing Fortnite. So from the results, we can't say that we has uh, we have any huge improvement, but we can say also that results are better than by default. With the set, if you set some settings in DWM, we can see that we have some better execution times for Endos kernel. Maybe we have improvements on the other driver, on some more drivers than only the kernel, but I personally I preferred for this video to focus only on Endos kernel and not to other drivers. Of course, you can see we, on other drivers maybe some improvement. Same concept for the CS2. Again, we haven't any huge improvement, but the results are not worse than the default. The default give us almost the worst results at all. 
so we have some improvement with the DWM tweaks. In FPS part, things are not exactly the same. Uh, the frame times, the adaptive versus dev, 0.1 and 1% lows are almost the same in all cases, but the average FPS was better almost with by default it was actually almost the same on the most cases but when i tried all together to test it i saw 6 fps reduction if we compare with the most uh, other samples so i don't know in terms of fps we have some improvement maybe those re register ticks are more latency friendly and not so much for fps in cs2 we follow a different pattern and also I want to highlight that we have another metric because of frame view. Frame view give us, provide us a PC latency metric, but it's only unfortunately uh, available on a specific games. In my case in Fortnite, I couldn't uh, see uh, this metric only in CS2 it was available, but it is what it is. I added for the CS2. The PC latency was better in DWM flip present and the DWM immediate render Kizimo of Kizimo. Um, the other uh, metrics was very close together. We can't say that we have huge, huge improvements, but for instance, the average FPS was better with a huge improvement. Personally, I think it's huge improvement. If we compare CS2 default with all together, we have some huge improvement. But the other metrics are very, very close together. We can say that we have something insane, something incredible. But in comparison with Fornet FPS results, CS2 looks more performed after uh, we applied those registry tweaks. So we came to the conclusion. Which settings are the best? Likely all together. You should conduct your own tests and take a decision as always um probably it's more latency friendly this is uh th i mean all those registry tweaks that i show the on this video probably are mostly latency friendly and not so much fps friendly but it depends you need to do accurate uh, accurate measurements to be sure 100 percent because we're testing so many so small differences that is very important to be accurate and very precise also a question that you gonna do to me is if we should disable or it's better to just disable the wm and not to uh, test all those tweaks personally i prefer to keep this on because it can cause many issues and uh, especially in windows 11 if uh, about this Maybe I'm wrong, so I want you to fix me in the comments. I, DWM is connected with some other uh, mechanisms in Windows 11, so if you disable the WM, it can cause issues to the other uh, mechanisms and on their operating system in general. So personally, I'm not gonna uh, do anything uh, with DWM to disable it, but I'm gonna continue to tweaking and finding. Uh, performance improvements with DWM or any other mechanism. It's your own decision if you will disable it or not. Personally, I will keep it on. So we come to the end. Thank you for being here until now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this type of videos. I want to continue to have the same concept with a presentation to explain what I will show you and to uh, to be better for you i think it's boring to see only excel graphs let me know in the comments if you have any recommendation to make those videos more interesting more enjoyable because i think it's really boring to see me to listening just my voice and explaining things i don't know maybe it's boring anyways guys uh, thanks really for watching this video i think the next video will be either with kernel tweaks or either with amd tweaks but those videos will be very special, I guarantee to you, especially the uh, AMD tweaks will be very very interesting. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.